All right, my modeling friends, we have this package of mystery that we're going to look at. Don't go away. You're not going to want to miss it. Hey YouTubers, it's Paul from Fat Guy Productions coming to you as always from beautiful, well, today not so beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. It's cold, it's windy, and it's the perfect day to be inside at the modeling table doing this first look and review with you guys. All right, as I said, I have a package of mystery. Ooh. Look at this thing, okay? Look, look at all these stamps here, okay? This is from the Ukraine, okay? A bunch of Ukrainian stamps from a guy named Alex Dubovi, Dubovo, Dubovoy. You, you pronounce it. Go, go for it. You here, D U B O V O I. Go for it, okay? If you can tell me how to pronounce it, spell it phonetically down below, okay? I defy you to pronounce that, but it's Alex, okay, from the Ukraine, and he sent me this package, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna open this sucker up, and I'm gonna let you see what it is. Now, full disclosure, I've been in it, okay? It's not a complete first look for me. Um, I stopped pretty early on because I saw something and I said, I gotta, I gotta make a video out of this, okay? So, starting right here in the packaging, it's well packaged, and uh, uh, Alex put all these cool stamps on it. And you might just think to yourself, oh, that's just how he decided to ship this. Oh, no, 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 uh, uh, uh. I'm telling you, when we get inside, you're gonna understand that this was done on purpose, okay? He did this to make this cool, all right? This guy has his act together. He's a, a presence on uh, eBay, and that's where I got this. And this guy clearly cares about what he's doing. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to do this video. I wanted to give him a shout out and tell you guys about him so you can look and see what he has, okay? So anyhow, let's get inside the mystery package. All right, here we go. And here it is. It is a ICM Model T 1914 fire truck with crew. Kit number 24017 in scale 124. All right, let's get this open and shut that down. All right, so here it is. Now, you guys probably know by now, I'm, I'm a retired firefighter, uh, 30, 38 years total service. Um, but I still love the fire service and I love building fire models. And I hadn't seen this before. And so I was really excited when I saw it. I went on eBay, I searched for it, and um, by happenstance, Alex had the best price with shipping of anybody, so I ordered it from him, and I'm glad I did. Okay, so let's take a look at this, okay? So it is the uh, Model T 1914 fire truck with crew by ICM. And uh, like I said, it's in 124 scale um, fire truck with crew. It's got some pictures of the truck on the, you know, on the sides. Uh, here's the only bit of information. Um, this is just uh, made in the Ukraine, and it's got ICM's website address uh, for adult collectors age 14 and over, and it's got some history of the Model T on here. All right. So let's go ahead and open it up and I want to show you where I stopped and then we'll get our, our first look together, okay, after that. Okay, so after I took the lid off, I found that in the Ukraine they, they have a weird boxing system, okay, it's not like ours, it's a box in a box. And uh, if you look right here, um, you'll see there's a, a some kind of security tape there and uh, those were cut open and when I got this I was like well I don't like that why would they open that I don't want my 
my kit open, but trust me, Alex did it for a reason. And let me show you. Let me turn it around this way. So, Alex did it so he could include this little bag. Okay, this is a little goodie bag that he put in here. And let me show you what he what he put into this thing. Here, let me move the model so we can get a really good look at this thing here. And yeah, I'm going to spend a little bit of time on this because I think it's that cool. Okay, it starts with this little piece of paper. Uh, if you have any problems with the order, contact us. Don't leave negative feedback. Uh, let us resolve the issue. Thank you for your purchase. Then we have a piece of Ukrainian money. Okay, it's a one. I don't know what that means. I'm sure it's not very much. But it's a piece of Ukrainian money, and I thought, how absolutely cool is that? That is so neat. And then, uh, then he put in these three little pieces of candy here. Um, uh, Herbina, never heard of it. Uh, okay, it looks like this purple one might be sage flavored. And this other one is elderberry. That's fun to say, elderberry. And then this is by Roshan. It's a cola flavored candy. It says fizzy. So if you've ever had uh, Zots here in America, I this looks and feels like a Zot. It says it's fizzy like a Zot. And it's cola flavored like a Zot. So I assume this is the Ukrainian Zot. And then the last thing that was in here was this little card. And it says, thank you for your purchase. Have a nice day. And then on the back, um, it says, hello, thank you so much for shopping with us. I'm so happy to send you a pleasant souvenirs. They're small parts of our beautiful country. Greetings from the Ukraine. And he's got this little card here. And I'm going to take a picture of him, put it up there so you can see it. But i, I got to tell you, this is a guy who takes some pride in what he is doing. I mean, he didn't need to do all this. He could have sent me my model, and that would have been the end of it. But he did, and I can promise you that I'm going to go back to his website and I'm going to look at what other fare he has to offer. And uh, if, if he's got stuff that I want, that I'm looking for, I am going to buy it from him. Just because I appreciate the attention to detail and the amount of care he put into his, his shipment here. All right, so let's get this model back up here and actually take a look at it together. Should we? Yes, we should. Okay. So that's where I had stopped. I had not done this yet. And so we take this out and we have a, a big bag. It looks like it's the whole kit in one bag. And then uh, here we have a second bag with the firefighters in it. Okay, so we put that there. And then here we have a instruction sheet for the firefighters and instruction sheets for the fire truck. So let's just take a look at this thing one at a time here. All right, so here is the instruction booklet. It's got a nice picture, it's color, glossy finish. And it's got, look at that, it's got uh, information on the, the Model T, but it's also got like the specs. It's got the, the range the max speed, the engine wheelbase, all that stuff, the paint callouts, um, and uh, a lot of deleted parts. And I'll tell you why that is. I know ICM makes this 1914 Model T in other versions, and uh, I don't think the fire truck has these parts in it, so I'm assuming that it's all one kit, and you just get a different direction uh, instruction booklet with it at, to either make the fire truck or to make a regular Model T. So that's what I'm thinking is going on here uh, because otherwise there's a lot of parts being deleted here. And uh, pretty simple instructions, not a lot of words, you know, your standard kind of thing. I do see here. Um, some uh, Ukrainian writing and um, English writing, so they, they've covered all their bases. Yeah, and uh, 
pretty straightforward, nothing to write home about. Full color back that shows you kind of how the fire truck should look. All right, great. All right, and the instructions for the fireman. All right, again, it shows the sprues, got all the part numbers, the paint call outs. Uh, here's, here's a thing of interest. All right, if you look right up here, this says 135th. The, the fire truck is 124th. Now, I, I understand that uh, 135th and 124th aren't that far apart, but it seems odd to me that they're a different scale. Um, I, I'm assuming you won't notice it. And then here's a, a nice little uh, drawing of kind of what the firefighters are supposed to look like. All right. Okay, here's the sprue for the fireman and uh, all right oh now that's really very cool here's here's the helmet right here and I'll try and zoom in on that and look the front shield and the little eagle the brass eagle for the top of the helmet are completely separate so that's gonna make um, for a lot of uh, ability to do a lot of detail and wow I'm looking at the the face of the fireman, my gosh, I can see his teeth. That is a very well done face, very expressive. Where's the other face? Let's see the other one. Oh, he looks like he's taking a, an angry poop. He's got this kind of like this on his face. So, I don't know, maybe, he, maybe he's feeling bloated. I, I don't know what his deal is. He's, he's bearing down pretty good. Um, wow, the detail in this is really nice. I don't see any flash. Man, that is that is really nice looking. You know, I, I can't speak for fit or finish because although I have a couple ICM kits laying around the house, I haven't built one yet. So uh, I don't know how good or bad the kit is going to be, but if the... The firemen are any indication the detail in these figures is stunning I hope I can paint them well enough to, to do them justice all right so let's uh let's open this bag up and take these parts out here let's put it over here out of the way I'll take these out one at a time and look at them all right so here we have a sprue of fire truck parts now I am really impressed by some of the detail. Look at look at right here. This is some kind of there's several of these pieces of grill. And man, those are so perfectly clean. You would expect there to be a lot of junk inside of there. There's nothing there and and man the floor of the fire truck has so much detail in it. Okay, here's, here's something really amazing. And I'll try and zoom in on this. This is part of the seat. And uh, it's a tufted seat. And in a, in a tufted seat, there's uh, buttons inside where, where the material is tufted. And those are actually molded right in here. The, you can see the little buttons in there. Um, I, I'm really, really blown away by the detail of this thing it is beautiful look at oh my gosh look at these little valve handles wow i'm gonna have to take some pictures of some of these pieces uh with a like a macro lens or something so you can actually see these things because the detail in this first sprue is just stunning so far Color me really, really impressed. All right, here we have the the main body, the engine covers, the motor drive line. All right, here's a neat touch, and I don't know. Okay, if you can see where I'm pointing here to this little fragile piece right here, it's surrounded by this big heavy circle. I don't know if that's 
more about injecting that little piece or about protecting that little piece or both but either way uh, it's gonna end up protecting that piece and I think that's a really nice touch but it's gonna be super hard to get that off there without breaking it it's gonna take some work let's see let set the grill nice little texture into the grill very nice very nice guys I'm telling you this thing is looking beautiful oh here we here's the front grill you got the Ford logo man I'm going to have a lot of fun with this because there's so much detail already in the kit that it just begs you to enhance that and uh if you put a, even just a little effort in going for some realism in this thing, it is going to look amazing. It really is. This is this is pretty pretty stunning. Now maybe you guys are used to working on kits with this kind of level of detail. I'm not. So here's a, a sprue that's got a lot. Of, this is like a, a top to the. Uh, Model T that isn't going to be used, and I guess this for some reason these body panels aren't going to be used, so um, those are all scrap. I'm still not seeing any flash. It looks like okay, so we've got pin marks, but it looks like they're all where you'd want them out of view. I don't see anything, might be a little blemish here in this body right there. I'm taking a little normal prep work and some coating, uh, some primer. It's going to be beautiful. All right, here's the tires. Okay, they are rubber. And uh, let's try something here. Well, they're, they're a little bit wider than I'd like them to be. They're not totally white, um, which they shouldn't be. They should not be totally white. They're not. But I think they're a little bit wider than I would like them. But that's nothing that I'm not going to be able to handle with a, with a little bit of a weathering. So here's the spokes. Very nice. Very nice. Man. This kit is amazing. And last but not least, here's our clear parts. Of course, plastic uh, is packaged separately in its own little wrapper. And I'm not going to take this out, but it looks pretty, pretty good. It's still going to get a dip in some gauzy, but I, I'm thinking it probably really doesn't need it. That is clear and perfect wow so all right so that is a first look at this uh, uh icm model t fire truck and i gotta tell you uh between the guy who sent it to me and the the level of detail i see in the uh in the model parts this is impressive okay this is really impressive stuff and uh man i i hope it builds as nice as it looks because if it does this thing's gonna be a home run and i can uh, promise you i'm gonna be building more icm kits in the future anyhow um, i'll give you a follow-up uh after i build this or i might even do a build video i don't know i've been wanting to do a build video i'm just looking for the right volunteer maybe this is it um we'll see we'll cross that bridge when we get to it all right, I know this wasn't the longest video in the world, but I really wanted to share this with you, especially after I saw the way uh, Alex uh, took care of his customers. And I, I wanted you to see that I am going to put a link to Alex's eBay page uh, down in the comments. Give him a visit, really, seriously. I mean, anybody that puts that much uh, care and attention into his, his uh, shipments uh, deserves at least a look. So, please... Give him a visit. Tell him uh, I told you about him. 
I, you know, I get nothing out of it. I just wanted to know that I was appreciative is all. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here. Uh, till next time, this has been Paul from Fat Guy Productions. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, ask any questions, make any comments. As always, I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Until next time, uh, I just wanted to wish you the greatest day. I hope you have a fantastic day and everything goes well for you. And until the next time, be good.